Hello, 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 and welcome to the LP Dimension. I am your guide, LP. Alright, we are here. Yep. No, guys, I know. I still have not got the mosquito bits. So, yes, those are fruit flies. Uh, this is the Red Wiggler bin. Last time. Um, this is the side that I'm going to be harvesting soon kind of dry but that is not uh that's all right as long as it's not like dry dry but we'll just sort of air it out a little bit chunks of stuff will go over there I'm not gonna harvest today but uh Probably next time or this week, because I could use. I need to amend the garden and make some worm tea. Um, all right, so that's good and fluffed up. I didn't see any worms in here, at least not that I was able to see. And I'll even down at the bottom. No, I don't see any. Alright. But mostly that stuff looks good. And now here is the other side. <laughs> Let's see. It's looking at everything on top. I see mites and oh, this was some sort of paper bag. There's a stick that I like to, or a piece of wood rather. Okay. All the mess on top. What did I feed last time, guys? Because the fruit flies seem to quite enjoy it. I see Brussels sprouts that are almost... Isn't that interesting? The Brussels sprouts are like borderline creating their own little Brussels sprouts on themselves. All those little nubs. Nature is cool. Here we got another apple. Um, today is Tuesday, August 13th, 2024. I just uh, recorded a video of the um, Nightcrawler bin number two. And in that video, which I post on different days, if you aren't already aware, we had an apple, but that apple had a hole in it and it was full of worms. It's funny. These apples were not good and yet looking at them now it's like, oh, those are perfectly fine apples. Mm. Uh, but okay. So let's carry on. But yeah, so I'll have already assuming no issues come up, posted that video and this is of the European Nightcrawler bin who um, I did not upload a video video for two weeks ago so um, I've got recordings of the 21st of July and then the 30th and now today the 13th I really didn't want to I didn't mean to let two weeks pass um, I would prefer seven to ten days uh, but we're getting better. We'll, I'll continue to get better. Um, so I didn't get a video up. I did feed last week, um, in all four bins, but I didn't get videos up for two of them. Um, and the European Nightcrawler bin number two was one that I didn't post a video for, but I did just post, um, one for this week. However, last week I did post 
a video or two weeks ago sorry on the 30th of July um, of yeah there's worms all throughout this So these guys I did share with you two weeks ago. All right. We got worms. The only food I'm seeing is um, Brussels sprouts. See, it's moist down there. Not overly so, but it is. Nothing exciting going on. So this really leads me to believe that the excitement is over here because that's where it looked like all the fruit flies were coming up out of with a vengeance. So, actually I think I'll... Hmm... Yeah, we'll probably wind up feeding over here. If I did, in fact, put other foods over there, I might want to feed on this side. But let's see. Let's see what we got here. Sh uh, torn paper as opposed to shredded. So that stuff's kind of compacted. But it'll break down. It just takes a little longer. Or I can tear it apart as I feel like it. Alright. Yeah, we got worms down here. Small worms. Lots of baby worms I see. A little bit of an anaerobic smell. Kind of like the smell of, um... Like a pond smell. This, I recall, was a uh, half of a lime that dried out. wonder if I can... Removing those mites aren't going to have a significant impact on the bin population, but it's also not, gonna, not a bad idea. So I don't... Oh gosh, I don't even see anything in terms of feedings. I'm assuming that the fruit flies were um, just coming up from that that lime because what a, there's not much else in here for them to be excited about. So very interesting, very very interesting. Um, I'm looking for food. I'm not paying attention to the worms. Well. Hmm. This was not much of an exciting check-in. Makes me say I should end this, but at the same time, let's be thorough. In that the population itself Hmm. The worms are there for sure. But I don't know, I would really feel better if I saw more worms. I don't I don't see I don't see a lot of worms and I don't don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. Alright, well, Hmm. Like I said, they're they're there, but they're mostly they're small and they're not that many. Alright, I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna add any more paper products because remember I'm supposed to be harvesting this whole situation starting here. Starting on this side. And then, um, migrating over to this side. So maybe I'll just add a little bit to, of wet shredded paper to put on top. 
but well, I don't know. All right, let's see. Okay, so I went ahead and put my dry mix down first and then some um, yucky tomatoes and tomato pieces. Not very much at all. Really not much at all at all. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and wet that down a little bit for the dry stuff. And I'm going to add some old brassica leaves. This is a really small feeding. I've always fed way more than this. But, um... I'm going to go ahead and do a small feeding over here. And top it off with... A little bit of newer paper. And we'll move all the older stuff back over from the side I'm supposed to be harvesting. All right, well, hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting. And I think I've said it before, and this is a sort of a little bit of wishful thinking, but with, with the proximity of my bins to each other, you know, sometimes I'm like, well, maybe they migrate over to the other bin right next door, but their populations aren't huge either. So... I really just like the European Nightcrawler bin, the video right before this, assuming it does get posted. Um, I really, this is a really small feeding and I do need to make sure that I'm back in here in a week to check on them. Um, get this, get this old material out of here, get some new material in here and hopefully recover this population but this I don't know this feeding I'm not does not make me feel great about um what I'm seeing I didn't again I saw worms in there but I didn't I didn't really see that many hmm all right well uh stay tuned hopefully I have better news next time this was the red wiggler bin Next up, we are going to the mixed worm bin number one. Um, and that one is usually my favorite. So hopefully that I also call it, have called it the blue worm bin. Hopefully we'll have better results over there. Um, thanks for stopping by. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And um, feel free to comment. Share any suggestions you've had or experiences you've had, whatever. I, I appreciate chatting with everybody. Um, so be well, be safe, and bye for now.